Hey, what's going on guys? John here. Welcome back to the channel. Now, this video is going to be more related to Canada again and Tesla with FSD Beta. Now, FSD Beta has been doing wonderful up in Canada, but one thing has changed and that is the pricing. If you guys want FSD Beta now, or should I say just FSD package without the beta even, you're going to be paying substantially more than you would have like a week ago. All right, so if you guys haven't already checked your Tesla app or you guys haven't gone online and checked it out, check out tesla.com, the design studio you're gonna see that the pricing is substantially more right now but why don't we go ahead and just hop on into the Tesla app here let's take a look together if we go into the upgrade section and the software update section you are gonna see FSD beta or full self-driving for $12,800. So me personally, if I haven't already purchased FSD beta back when it was at $8,000, I'm definitely not gonna be purchasing at $12,800. I'll save that money, put it into Tesla stocks, or just buy another car or anything I really like. I can buy like 12 iPhones. Uh, so that's a little bit ridiculous. But the sad thing is, Tesla did not release FSD beta for the majority of Canadians. I think they haven't even gone FSD beta out to most of the US yet. So that means that you're not even guaranteed to get the beta version. You're just gonna get simple lane changes, the crappiest version of Summon, pretty much for like the price of a brand new car. Now one thing to also account is that the currency exchange rate has already been added on and you know it's pretty crappy for Canadians. And you're paying $10,000 down south and then you're paying $12,800 up here. I don't even know how that's even calculated, but punch that into Google and it does not equate $12,800, that's for sure. Another crappy thing is Canada does not even get FSD beta subscription. And that means that you are gonna be forced to pay out the whole chunk. And if your car ever gets into an accident, you ever sell your car, that is stuck to the car. You're not gonna get to keep it with you. There is no reason why down south, you're able to subscribe to FSD beta. And up here, you have no option to subscribe. So if you guys jump on into this Tesla app uh, like before and you go into the subscription tab You're just gonna see uh, premium connectivity and nothing else. So that is the lamest shit ever So what else do I have to say about this really nothing if you guys were planning to buy FSD and you waited You pretty much lucked out uh, you're paying a lot more now than you would have about a week or two ago but probably Tesla is going to be raising the cost even more in the coming months like they do with their car and everything else. They might even take away features. So if you think right now it's worth it, pick it up right now before it's too late. It's really going to get only worse from this point on. So yeah. So anyways guys, I already have FSD beta on one of my cars. The other one does not have it and I'm not intending to buy it anytime soon. I think it's the most waste of money ever, uh, ever since I picked up FSD uh, as a package, it was $8,000, and I waited literally years for it to arrive onto my car. And honestly, most of the times, I am just driving myself anyways because it's doing too many scary things. But hopefully in, in the summer, it gets a little bit better with more enhancements and everything like that. But as of right now, uh, definitely not worth it in my eyes, at least for Canadians up here with snow, rain, slush, and a bunch of other things as well. Anyways, guys, this should wrap it up for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, I want more Tesla Canadian content please let me know in the comments below and while you're at it please hit that subscribe and that bell notification i'll be pushing out a lot more videos to come so anyways this should be it once again guys peace out